Look what we have here, the Fire Chiefs 55 Chevy. That is a bright red, bright red inside, bright red underneath. It is body off the frame restored, and yes, the bottom is polished and buffed just like the top. Under the hood is a 468 big block with dual quads. Can't really see the interior yet, but it's a stunning custom glove soft leather upholstery. So we got a lot to tell you about this 55 Chevy 210. And if you go to volocars.com, that's where you'll find the price tag on this one and about 200 other collector cars that are all for sale. And each one is a monthly finance option as well. But for right now, let's go for a spin. Yeah, this car is stunning. Beautiful. So the hood looks great. No issues here. All nice, straight. They took the V off the front for a nice, clean look. All this clean, straight. No issues, all real nice. This corner piece has a little bit more texture. Maybe they repainted that. The color matches, but has a little texture. All the rest of this is glass coming down here. It's lowered. <laughs> it's, it's definitely lowered. But anyway, the gaps are spot on, smooth, straight. Shuts real nice. The roof is excellent. Quarter panels are excellent. We'll talk about the wheels in a minute, but there are some big fat wheels under there. A couple minor imperfections, like a couple little fish eyes in the paint right here. And I'm fussy, I'm telling you, you know, the way it is, most people wouldn't even bring that to your attention. The rest of this is red glass. They also took the V off the trunk, just nice clean look. Lines up beautifully, all nice clean, new gas cap, uh, straight. I haven't seen any rust or damage or anything like that. All nice, clean, flush, smooth, straight. I don't see any cracking. I don't see any body work showing. All fantastic. It's a little touch up right on the edge here. And that's about it. You have to look close to find any flaws like I just did. It is slick, bright red paint. Anyone's just going to say, wow, there is a rock chip right up here on top. A little one can be dabbed in with a little paint easily. The bird looks new. The grill looks new. Smooth bumpers. There's no bumper bolts. It's all smooth, one-piece bumpers, front and back. And all this was replaced, all nice and shiny. All new glass. It's smoked glass. It's not a tint. It's actual smoked glass. Uh, we lubed the window regulator on one side, replaced it on the other side, so they're rolling up and down. All the rubber gaskets and seals were replaced. All the stainless trim, all polished out real nice. The wheels in back, uh, they're Mickey Thompson tires, but they're, I got the sizes, I don't remember, but like 20 by something crazy. I'll get the sizes in a minute, but they're... Uh, American Racing Gasser style polished wheels and their monsters in the back. LED smooth taillights, uh, smooth bumper. I'm really excited to show you the inside and the motor. So why don't we do that? So the wheels, they're 17 by sevens in front. They're 20 inches tall, 15 inches wide in back. It's like a Hot Wheels car, all tucked up underneath there, real nice and neat. Now let's open up the trunk. Oh yeah, nice. Underneath has this nice upholstered uh, panel, fits to all the edges. And then inside, of course, is completely boxed. Uh, nice design, wrapped in leather, nice carpeted floor. You can get an idea how big the wheel wells are. Normally, I think they probably end about here from the big tires. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified when we post new videos. And we're posting some really, uh, some great work, great cars. Door jams are all painted real nice. Full-blown, beautiful, custom leather interior, uh, including the door panels. They got nice design. Looks like they got speakers built into the bottom of them there. Uh, original style window cranks and handles. All the metal trim is painted slick like the car. Nice billet aluminum uh, panel, uh, white gauge cluster. It all lights up real nicely, nice and bright. 
all nice, clean, smooth as a clock. Then down below, uh, this custom panel uh, for the air conditioning. It's a vintage air heat and AC system, custom made console, and every, everything's wrapped in glove soft leather, low car shifter. There's the e-brake hidden in there. Great seats, all nice, firm cushion, uh, leather, uh, silver piping. I mean, really, really nice interior work. Everything I touch is soft leather. Huh. Don't think I'm a weirdo, but everything is leather, not just the fronts of the seats, and it is glove soft. Uh, and check it out. The console goes all the way to the back, uh, all custom upholstered. Uh, again, fantastic work. This is a high-end interior. Continues right up onto the rear speaker shelf. There's custom speaker grills. And uh, really neat looking headliner, cloth headliner, like under the trunk lid. The nice panel, and a little detail here wrapped in leather. That's yeah, really sharp looking. Then the steering wheel, custom wheel, of course, and a polished uh, chrome tilt column. I forgot to mention the carpet, but it's that nice tight weave carpet. A little bit of staining on the uh, floor mat. It might come out with a little more work. Now we're talking uh, some serious business. That's a 454 rebuilt as a 468 big block has a polished aluminum intake with dual Edelbrock four barrel carbs. So it's eight barrels will open when you tromp on it. I uh, got a billet uh, distributor in back with electronic ignition, nice uh, aluminum air cleaner, valve covers, plug wire holders, nice set of coated headers, aluminum heads, custom made firewalls, all smoothed and made bigger for the big block. Nice billet hinges, I love those. Um, all the hoses run neatly. The front of the motor is all polished components, all the pulleys and brackets and components. Now the radiator is a big polished radiator and matching condenser. Uh, it has dual electric fans, a polished overflow bottle, it has hard upper hose, uh, all nice painted, polished master cylinder, smooth, clean motor compartment. Now Michael's got the fun job. I'm gonna show you what she's got. Yeah, you'll have to look at the pictures on our website underneath this car. It's all slick red, just like this. Uh, all rust-free, clean floors that were prepped and painted red. They said they even buffed them. It's that nice. Uh, it is a stock frame, but it's been heavily modified. The whole front clip uh, is a Fat Man manufacturing front clip with tubular stainless steel control arms, coil-over adjustable gas shocks, and it has a rack and pinion steering system. Now in back, the frame was also modified. It had to be brought inward to make room for the monster tires. So the entire frame is painted gloss red. Uh, four link suspension in back. It has tubular stainless uh, control arms and also coil over adjustable gas shocks. Disc brakes at all four of the wheels. Uh, great sounding custom exhaust, Borla mufflers. You look up at the motor, it's a nice clean motor, chrome oil pan, high torque starter. It's got a built uh, heavy duty turbo 400 automatic that'll handle the big block. And in back is a new quick performance heavy duty Ford 9 inch rear end as well. Uh, and all that's painted red. The new gas tank that's in there is polished. Uh, so yeah, really slick underneath. It's hard to pick my favorite part of the car, but oh, that leather is nice. I couldn't stop touching it. Go to volocars.com, and that's uh, where you talk to the salesman. They'll help answer your questions, including how to get this delivered, how to get it financed. Go to volocars.com. Thanks for watching.